Good morning, Pietro here. So, the morning after, with yet another watch. Where, where is it? Is it just another watch? Is it just another gadget in my life? Uh, I'm surprised how small it feels on my wrist, and I think mostly because I've been wearing a 51 millimeter watch by Garmin with a little more heft. And then I even slept with the G-Shock GBD-H1000. Even though it doesn't track sleep, I wanted to see what kind of heart rate data it would give me at night. Uh, to be honest, wasn't that useful? This one's really useful, but this is about the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And this is the LTE edition, and it's the silver one. So I slept with it last night. A lot of questions about sleep, not necessarily from me, but from the, the people in the social media realm. So let's get to it. Oh yeah. Shh. Okay, first things first, I need to show you the watch. So this morning I was in bed about 20 minutes ago and I was clicking this. Be really quiet. So this is your ASMR on the Samsung Galaxy Watch Classic. With that rotating bezel, it kind of makes a ting, like a small little, you can hear the metal gears turning. So as soon as I turn it on, it says this, do not disturb is on, will stay until you turn it off. So for some reason it didn't automatically go into bedtime mode. I think it's still learning about me or I forgot to set something up. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And now if I scroll to the widgets, oh, I start over heart-wise. That's from yesterday. I slept three hours and seven minutes. Hmm, okay. But hey, I got a sleep score of 79. I burned 218 calories while I slept. That's new. REM 43, awake one minute, light, deep 34. And then my minimum of SpO2 was 89, interesting, no snoring data. More details on your phone. Okay, well let's check Apple. So Apple has the similar thing, it's in sleep mode. You have to turn the dial and then you have to end your, pa oh no, it's not having me enter my password, yay. I use auto sleep, you can use just the default app, but the data is quite, well, it's too simplistic for me. So I scroll over to auto sleep, blip, and there's my sleep data. It shows time in bed. Here, let me zoom in so you can read that. Or at least so I can read it because that's small font. So sleep, quality, average, 64, and then I click done. And then it quickly gives me all the info. I waited a while and was hoping that, oh, I turned the screen brightness down. Oops, I just turned Wi-Fi off. There we go. So if we go back to the sleep widget, it still says three hours and seven minutes. So then I was thinking, well, it's probably just because I didn't sync it with the phone. So I have it synchronized to the Samsung S21 inside this gorgeous Poetic case. Thank you, Poetic. And I thought once the two talked to each other, it would update, and it has not updated. So there's my sleep score, 79, nice stats, actual sleep, calories burn, which I like. And then there's my oxygen during the sleep, so that's good. You can do a sleep rating, it has sleep consistency, now one thing that's missing right here is my heart rate while I slept, because that's a big indicator. But they do have learn more. Uh, this is pretty much the same as before. And then I did not have any snoring data because I don't snore, I'm really lucky. But you can see right here, powered by sleep cycle. Interesting, right? So let's click on that. So when you're looking at that sleep cycle, it looks very similar, uh, sleep score, that was the same pretty much, uh, but what is new with the Galaxy Watch 4, what you wanna know, 
I don't remember calories being there, so that's nice. Blood oxygen while sleeping, that's new. The graph could use some work. Uh, as you can see, there's no, you can't like get the precise numbers, but you know, that's okay. They, they can always change that. Snoring, I don't snore. So there's that. And then right here, power by sleep cycle. So this is interesting. They use sleep cycle to do the whole snoring thing. And then they let you know that you can download the app. Oh, well, I don't want another app, but anyway, now available in Samsung Health, Power Through Galaxy Watch, turn on snore detection. So it looks like I need to install another app. So I don't know why Samsung just, they should just buy this company and then integrate it. That's what uh, Garmin did. Anyway, so there's your sleep. So I'm thinking, well, wow, this really messed up because it only tracked three hours and seven minutes. So then we compare it to the other devices. It said I slept seven hours and change sleep bank. So we have quality, deep, very different from what Samsung said. Hmm. And then as far as my readiness score, it did okay. Uh, I did take that break and I did my little uh, relaxation breathing for one minute, got my heart rate down to 64. So that's pretty good. I've, I think the lowest I've gotten is like 56 doing that. And now we have another comparison, a second comparison with the Garmin. It tracked seven hours and 20 minutes, a sleep score of 70 instead of the sleep score of 79. And what was the sleep score on auto sleep? Anyone remember? Because I already forgotten. 89%. Although sometimes auto sleep can be a little generous. So we have deep sleep, says that I went to bed at midnight, or this is saying 2247, yeah. Hmm, Garmin messed up. I was not moving. But awake time, REM, nice, deep sleep, not enough. Although you slept long enough, you did not get sufficient deep sleep. Recalling memories and concentrating may be challenging today. Great, thanks Garmin. Let's check the Aura Ring. This is the smart ring that I started wearing 14 days ago, and I wore it last year for a month, got the wrong size, and I returned it to get another one, and then I just changed my mind, but I wanted to revisit this gadget. I put it on my middle finger so it's nice and snug during the night, so that will quickly synchronize, updating. There we go. So sleep score of 71. Okay, so we have 79, 71, 89, and then Garmin is telling us 70. So definitely in the 70s. Efficiency, efficiency, sleep efficiency of 87. Total sleep, let's see, when does it say I went to bed? Oh, it thinks I didn't go to bed until past midnight. Now I can change this, watch this. So I really did go to bed at 2247. So I'm going to drag this. Oh, you know what? It doesn't let me do that. So you can decrease your sleep window, <laughs> but you can't increase it. Okay, that's a bummer. But for Garmin, I can do that. So let's take this out of airplane mode. You know, when you're wearing this many gadgets to bed, kind of somewhat get concerned like, hmm, do I really want to keep all these gadgets on? This is the Phoenix 6X Pro Solar, if you're wondering, and this is version 2.0 of the Aura Ring, and this is the Apple Watch 6 44 millimeter in Pacific Blue. That's the Italian band that I bought off apple.com. Thanks Davide for the birthday present. Okay, still synchronizing. As far as, like which gadget I like the best, I'll just be honest with you. So far, my go-to gadgets for the day when I'm not testing anything, I wear my Garmin Phoenix and I wear my Apple Watch and my Aura Ring. The Aura Ring, it's a nice comparison. It just sits there. I like the feedback that it gives me. And yeah, this has just amazing battery life. I haven't charged this for over a week. I still have seven days left, so that's pretty cool. 
if you could uh, learn from that Samsung, that'd be great. There we go, finally synchronized and sleep. Okay, so it says fair and then there's the info and then let's see if it lets us edit it, yes. So we'll change the bedtime to match Samsung 2247. We'll just 2248, good enough. And save. Wow, just like that, it changed the stats. I've been wanting to try this. Okay, so now I'm at 76. So now we're really close in the sleep data accuracy. It's just for some reason, I don't know why Samsung aired out. So this brings me to my other topic. I've been doing a sleep study analysis and a project over the last 200 days. And last night was Note 212. So if you go here on the Remarkable, you can go to the thumbnail view and I can show you all the pages of my copious, copious notes during this study. And I've been wearing various watches throughout the study, so that's kind of fun for me. Anyway, so since we're talking about sleep, we will document night 212. And then when I, I had to actually manually write down the sleep efficiency stuff from Garmin, but Garmin recently added that advanced sleep info to the app. So thank you, Garmin. Before, all you got was this info, which is really nice because there's your pulse, pulse OX, so the SpO2, blood oxygen, and you notice the awesome graph that they have. So this is what Samsung needs to do, and they also have respiration, which Samsung is currently not doing. Now, this is not quite the fair comparison between these two watches because, well, Garmin's been doing wearables longer. This device retails for seven to 900. I think you can get them as low as 500. This device is 350, 450. So price range, this is another 20 to 30% more but the analytics that you get for your health are way more detailed by Garmin versus Samsung. So if you're looking for a smartwatch, not, not a true smartwatch because this doesn't have Bixby, it doesn't have apps. I mean, it does have some apps and widgets you can install. Uh, yeah, and one thing that I really like, and I know I've mentioned this before, but it's just such an important thing. Intensity minutes, very good to know and the uh, performance thing. Whoops, I passed it, gotta go back. There we go, training status. So I need to go run, but it should tell me my recovery. I went on a really hard bike ride on Thursday. It's now Saturday. I have three hours and then I can work out again. Sweet, thanks Carmen. Samsung doesn't have the recovery time and neither does Apple and or a ring, they do have recovery time. That's another reason I wear it. And believe it or not, this Casio has recovery time, which is pretty sweet. All right, I can distract myself. Uh, let's look at one last gadget that I wore last night. And let's start our new page here. So we have Note 212. If you're uh, new to my channel, note is the Italian word for night. And I like to integrate Italian whenever I can into my videos because I just think it's fun. Okay, so we have gadget number one. We're gonna say the new one. The Galaxy Watch 4. And then we have the Garmin. We'll just stay with the Gs. So gadget five, well, to look at that, I need to put my foot on the table. Yep, uh, around my ankle, I wore the Polar Grit X. So we have to take that off. And uh, believe it or not, this is probably the 40, well, 40th time I've worn gadgets around my ankle <laughs> when I sleep because I run out of wrists. Um, I wore this one on my right wrist with my Apple Watch and that was quite uncomfortable. I do not recommend doing that. 
So let's take a look at the sleep. Current heart rate, okay, it says I'm overreaching. Get moving, okay. Nightly recharge, okay. So we have the ANS score, not that good. Sleep charge, 71. So here's the ANS details, plus 0 0.3, so usual. Has my heart rate, really good info. Beat to beat interval in milliseconds, heart rate variability, breathing rate, and I love the little lung uh, logo there, and whatever you wanna call it. And then if we scroll down again, we can look at sleep details. Whoops, unless I click the wrong button. I hate it when that happens, don't you? There we go, so 71, again, they're all kind of in the 70s. Yeah, and it says I didn't go to bed till midnight. That is not right. You know what it was? I fell asleep on the couch. So that's what happened here. And then it says, how did you sleep? Well, I thought I slept, I thought I slept well, actually. Uh, I only woke up once to get a drink of water and uh, go to the bathroom, so yeah. So there you go, five watches on night 212. All right, let's uh, wrap all this up with a pretty bow and summarize the sleep data of those five gadgets. We have the sleep score on the Galaxy Watch. Oh, I forgot to put that in. We have the Galaxy Watch, the Phoenix, and so all within the mid 70s to high 70s, give or take, and all of them were close except for Galaxy Watch. It, it didn't go back into sleep mode after I woke up and got a drink of water and went to the restroom. Anyway, uh, the battery life, just a quick update. It was fully charged last night at 21.34, I think. Yeah, 21.34, and it was at 78% 9 a.m., so it's not quite been 10 hours, and I'm down to 76%. I'm gonna keep the brightness, you know, just the normal thing that I did on the gal other one. So this is completely off. So one, two, three is the usual brightness that I have. I wish it had the numbers. I, I missed the numbers, but that's Wear OS 3.0 for you. Yeah. I hope that answered some questions. If not, well, type your question down below and I'll make another video. But sleeping with five gadgets it's not for everyone i've desensitized myself over the last 212 nights actually over the last two years because i started wearing two gadgets to bed the most comfortable gadgets to wear this one you get used to it does have girth this one's just kind of well it's not sharp but they're about the same thickness but it doesn't track sleep the polar grit quite comfortable to wear actually because it just wraps around the galaxy watch if you switch the band very comfortable to wear the apple watch in this loop italian band so comfortable to wear i really like it overall i think the aura ring is the easiest to sleep with and it's just so light it's lighter than the wedding ring that my wife got me that's tungsten i'll have to weigh them but it's when I show this to people, they're just like, what? How does that do that? Anyway, it's pretty cool. So hooray for the Finnish people over in Finland developing such a cool device, if you can see that. Let me know your thoughts. More details on exercise, heart rate, sleep analysis, and whatnot. So today, I think I'll just wear, I haven't decided yet. But I'm definitely going to sleep with those same five devices again so I can get a very good comparison. And I'll be sleeping with the Galaxy Watch 4 consecutively for at least seven days to get some good analysis. Yeah. They all make mistakes, don't get me wrong. There does not exist the perfect device yet. The Oura Rings pretty good as long as you're wearing it correctly same for the apple watch same for samsung 
but I've had them all air out. Uh, the auto sleep app on the Apple Watch has malfunctioned twice in the last 212 days. Not bad. I thought it malfunctioned a third time, but it turned out that it just needed to like think for a bit. And about an hour after I was awake, it thought about things and recalibrated. Thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, if you haven't, you know, click that like button. I'd appreciate that. And there's affiliate links in the description if you want to help a brother out. And there's also a $40 off uh, link for friends and family if you want to buy a remarkable tablet. And then you even have the Samsung link in there. So put a lot of links in there. Thanks for your support. And that's all. I'll see you again with another video tomorrow to keep up to date with all these gadgets. Let's see, how should we end this one? Let's do this one. Goodbye. Now you didn't really think that was the end, did you? I mean, of course there's more after the credits. This is, this is Pietro you're talking to. This is, this is me you're watching, Gadgets Anonymous. Let me show you just one more sleep data from the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Here we go. And just for fun, we are filming on the Samsung Flip 3, or Z Flip, what's that official name? Galaxy Z Flip 3. I wore it to bed last night, much better than the second, well, the first night. There we go, sleep score, seven hours and one minute. Now, the funny thing is you can't just like scroll because you're in the widget, so you have to tap, tap on it, and now you can scroll down. So sleep score is 75, actual sleep time, six hours and five minutes. Calories burned, 500. I like how they show you how many calories you burn while you sleep, that's cool. And here are the uh, sleep stages, awake, REM, light, and deep, and then oxygen minimum, 91%. Now, kind of cool, I think I showed this uh, in another video, but it does me me measure, measure your body fat, something that S Apple has not yet done. I'll take off my other gadgets. This is the Casio G-Shock, it's the GBD H1000, because I know people are gonna ask. And this is my aura ring. Okay, now I don't have any gadgets on me. So we'll scroll over, measure. It's gonna ask me for my current weight, which is currently 169, confirm. And then you hold your middle two fingers. You know what, we're gonna have to do this on the other wrist. <laughs> There we go. Look at that cool animation.
Yeah, it better be quiet when it checks my body fat. And there we go, weight 169.1, skeletal muscle 68, fat mass 40 pounds, body fat 23%, BMI 23.7, body water 94 pounds, BMR 1,631 calories. Now, yesterday I had a friend measure it and so it's kind of throwing it off. That's why it says a negative 44, but kind of cool. And then if I go back, then it has that summary right there, 23, which is funny because just the other day it was measuring 19. So even within four days or maybe three days, the body fat has a difference of 4%. But again, this isn't a health device. It's a mobile perspective. Yeah, I can resist. This is a scale I got from Weight Watchers years ago. There are the stats. Which one is right? Samsung or Weight Watchers? Hmm, more testing is needed. Anyway, I'll be making it to a gym really soon, or I might do one of those AirPod chambers to get fully tested for accuracy. Thanks so much for watching till the end and I'll have more about the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, classic Edition soon. Uh, also, watch out for the G-Shock that I'm reviewing right now, the Aura Ring, and the camera that I'm flipping on, the camera that I'm flipping, the camera that I'm filming on, that Galaxy Z Flip 3.0 5G. Hey, it's fun. I, I actually like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And that review will come out sometime the next, actually this video might come out after. Anyway, subscribe, like, you'll see it soon. Goodbye.